All right, Martin, uh, we have a question. It's from Mindy, one of the top contributors in the fibromyalgia group. And she says, magnesium, I take 500 mg. How much should I take? So the statistics say that 1,200 milligrams of magnesium is a normal daily dose. But then that's for a normal person, average. We don't know absorption rates. We don't know health rates. We don't know metabolic type. So that's you need to go by what works for you rather than what some statistician has determined. So 500 milligrams sounds, sounds okay, but here's the thing. Magnesium, when taken orally, will activate the parasympathetic, which is the peristalsis, which is the movement of the bowel. So you should take orally all the way to tolerance. And tolerance is that your bowel movement becomes looser than you like, and then you back off of that. But if your symptoms persist, you're still not getting enough magnesium. And the only workaround is to go topical. Because when you take magnesium topically on your skin, it's bypassing the digestive system, it's getting into your intracellular fluids, it's getting where it needs to be, and it's going to do its job. And for that, take a look. There's going to be a link here to topical magnesium. We have it as topically everything. It's magnesium oil, magnesium gel. These are topically applied water-based magnesium solutions. And in those a teaspoon is a dose that you would consider. And if you need to do more, then you do another teaspoon and another teaspoon. It'll work. You need to find your optimal functional dose that will activate the parasympathetic, the rest and repair and the digest. The accent is on repair. Your body will start repairing when there's enough magnesium in the system to activate the parasympathetic side of your autonomic nervous system. Okay, so Martin, I, that brings up two follow-up questions that I wanted to talk, discuss. The first one is magnesium in the mouth, and the second one is magnesium on the skin. So can you address those, please? Well, so oral magnesium, it's going to be a mineral, so you can take it as magnesium citrate, or magnesium carbonate, or magnesium malate, or threonate, or whatever. There are all these amino acids that the magnesium is attached to. And there are some products out there on the market that cost you plenty that are so excited that they give you seven types of magnesium, which is fine, not to knock it, but it's not necessarily a better thing when it comes to magnesium itself. Um, the typical oral magnesium, magnesium oxide, which helps with the gut. We recommend magnesium chloride. You can take the same stuff orally as you can take it topically. You just absorb much faster when it goes into the body. Unfortunately, when you take it orally, it may be too much, too fast, too intense. So you may need to take it topically. That's... Magnesium chloride is great because it's a high dose of magnesium and a fairly small amount of liquid. The other popular thing is Epsom salts, which is magnesium sulfate, and that's typically taken in the bath. One big advantage of the products we sell is that they have been energetically modified. They are The water is made more uh, absorbable, lower surface tension and better pH and so on. So it will be more absorbable to the body. Take either. You just need the result. Judge the outcomes by what you get, not by the dosage you take. Cool. So would you say that it's easier to take it orally or, or topically? You know, like I've heard that magnesium is difficult to absorb when you, or like it makes the stool soft and all that stuff. Well, and it can be easier if you just do a foot, a foot soak, for example, get some warm water, put some magnesium oil in it or salts and just soak your feet. Yeah, that's to me, that's the best way to go. It's super convenient, fairly inexpensive, and you get a high dose that way. 
without much fuss. So if you can take the time, put it in warm water and uh, put your feet in it, your lymphatic system will pick it up from the feet and distribute it throughout your body. To me, that's the best way to go. Myself, for convenience, I use magnesium chloride. We call it magnesium oil. And I actually put it in my armpits because it kills two birds with one stone. It's a very effective deodorant and it absorbs through the body. So that's how I use it.